the only thing a gambler needs is a suitcase and a trunk. And the only time that he is satisfied is when he's on a drunk. Hey, get your hands off him. What the hell are you doing? Whoa, relax there, stud. I'm not here to hurt anyone. Well, I guess I should, but I just can't. He's so innocent looking after all. Who the hell are you? And what the fuck are you doing in the middle of the road? The name is Gabriel. It's nice to finally meet you, Jack. I've been following your work for a while now, and I have to say, I'm really impressed. You work for the Bureau or the Agency? No, 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 you silly man. Let's just say I work for the real Big Brother. The man upstairs. You know. The true keeper of the law. Get your hands up and step away from the boy. Ha! <laughs> you boys with your silly guns. I was going to kill you both, but there was something in his eyes. I saw a glimmer of hope there. Don't worry, we will meet again soon. You all right? You feel strange or anything? Yeah, it looks like there's some new players. We really need to keep our head in the game. I think the town is behind these trees here. Someone's gonna find this bus soon, and we should try to avoid any suspicion. Uh, speaking of suspicion, we really should take a step back with the killing. Uh, we need to keep a lower profile while we're trying to figure out a way to open these seals. Now, I've been reading on the subject a lot lately, and I think I got an idea about how we should go about this. Now, I'll show you some of the literature once we get to my apartment. I think we can get across around there. You can do this jump, right?
If we can climb this, we should see the path again. Hello? Shit. I think we need a little help here, son. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we can use the tree over there to climb over. Are you able to bring that down? I've seen you use those abilities before. I figured I'd find you here. Okay, I'm out of ideas here. was interesting to say the least. Come on, son.
Ah, uh, home sweet home. Let's take the path down there.
Jack! Is that you, Jack? Hey, I didn't know if you were coming or not. You could have used the front door, you know. But I'm glad you're here. And who's this little guy? You remember the senator's kid, right? Wagner's son, Lucius? Oh, yeah, right. How could I forget? Last year was pretty rough on us all. I can only imagine what you must be going through. Yeah, he doesn't speak much. I just picked him up from Benedict's. I think it's good to keep him near his home while we look for a better place for him. So this is the kid? Sole survivor of the Dante fire. How's he doing? Did the doctors tell you it's okay to take him already? Lieutenant? They told me to take him to a more familiar environment. His mental health seems fine. It's just that he's going to take some time to recover from something like this. I talked to child services and they're going to look for a place to put him in. In the meantime, I think we should try and make him feel as comfortable as possible. Don't you agree? I do. Did you talk to Dr. Young? Maybe I should contact him for some consultation on the situation. No need to for that. I talked to him and I think I have everything under control. Besides, he's currently on vacation. I think he said something about taking a trip to the Pink Islands. Oh... Must be the Caribbean trip he was always talking about. Well then, let's just make him feel comfortable, shall we? You know, I have an idea. You know what you could do, Lucius? You could take this camera and be our cameraman for the party. Just wander around and take pictures of everyone having a good time. That sounds like a great idea. It's a great way to meet everyone here. Go right ahead, son. Let me know if you have any problems. Don't run, children. You're going to hurt yourself. Oh, hello there. Was it Lucius? You're our personal photographer, are you? Well, that's lovely, darling. I wish Samantha and Derek could have something useful to do. Maybe you can come and play with them at our house. It's the one near the beach. You're welcome to visit any time. Our door is always open. Hello. How are you, son? Don't worry. Charles was a good friend. Well, hello. Shoot, I know you do it. I know you do. Come on, you can tell me. Sneak a peek? I would. All them fine ladies sleeping there? <laughs> yeah. Really, sir? Re really, sir? I, I I don't know what you're talking about. I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. I I really must be going back to the motel. There might be customers coming and my, my mother gets worried. How is your mother, Banner? I haven't seen her in a while. I should come and pay a visit. Maybe bring the kid with me. She's fine, sir. We're, we're all fine. I, I mean... Why would you come? I mean, I mean, she... Come as you may, but she gets ill sometimes. I mean, she has been ill lately, so... She probably won't be able to see any visitors. Huh? But, but, but I'll make sure to let her know. Uh, sometimes she gets upset. You know, I... I try to keep the schedule, but, but sometimes she just... Gets upset. Oh, hello there. Well, you're welcome to visit, of course. I, I mean, I work a lot, but, but I always have time to meet new friends. I, I always wanted a little brother, but she never listened. This is not going to end up like you think. Let's find a way to make this happen without bringing total chaos. Well, hello. 
What can I do for you today? It's a good thing we have a big-time lawyer like you here to help with the case. We're loaded with lawsuits, and we just want to get everyone who had losses to be compensated. Good evening, Lucius. We meet again. You've met him before. Oh, well, yes. Charles and I go way back. Oh, really? Are you sure your personal relationship is not interfering with the case, son? Oh, quite sure, sir. Our relationship was always strictly business. And I assure you, there are no conflict of interests. I'll have to look into that. Come on now, Jackson. We're not at work. He's up on it. Come now, gentlemen. Let the boy snap his pictures. Oh, right. Yeah. Go right ahead, and if you ever come by the town hall, be sure to give me a visit. I'm sure I have some chocolate there or something. Looking at your belly, I'm thinking they might be all gone. <laughs> Are you feeling all right, boy? Yeah! Just like your father. How are my boys treating you? Taking those pictures won't save you, son. We all know what's coming. Don't we? Oh, Lord, yes, we do. Such a sweet, innocent child like you will not be saved without Jesus on your back. The devil is among us and can taint the minds of these innocent children. We must ask the Lord to save him. Okay, okay. Ain't that enough for one night? Leave the poor kid alone. All you need to know, son, is that you are always welcome to our house. The Lord does not discriminate. Jesus accepts all sinners and forgives them all. Whenever you feel like it, day or night, just visit the parish. It's the great big house on the beach. We'll be there waiting for you. end up like you think. Maybe later. Well, hello. What's the matter, son? Daddy's angry again. No, Derek! Stop that! You're hurting him! No! What's the matter, sis? Are you scared? Scared of a little birdie? No, Derek! You're killing him! Don't kill him! Who are you? It's the kid from the mansion! The rich mute! His parents are dead! His parents are dead! And he killed them! He killed them dead! He did not! They died in a fire, Dave. I heard that his dad killed his mom with a nail gun. <laughs> Is that true? <laughs> You're right. Mute and crazy. What is he going to do? Tell on us? You're full of crap. I'm not scared. Why would you want to talk to someone who doesn't even answer? You?
what you get, you drunk bastard. Hey, what the hell, kid? What are you trying to do here? Give me a heart attack? Get lost, will you? Scram. Don't mind that miserable man. Take all the pictures you want. Not everyone here is as grumpy as that fool. Ain't that right, Seeper? Get off me, old fart. You can't even sail correctly. Is, is that an SGX-72 land camera? Where, where did you get that? I have the exact same one. It takes only 10 seconds to develop the picture. It's part of my secret project. Come on, take a picture of this young devil here. No one knows what the hell he's building, but he just keeps on building. Come see me at the docks when you have the time. I'll take you for a spin. Maybe it's time for us to go. It's getting kind of late, especially for the kids. Oh, so soon? Well, I guess you're right. Come by the office anytime and bring the kid for a checkup. I would love to see him. Thanks, Doc. We'll see you later. Well, this is it. Make yourself at home. You can sleep there on the right. My bedroom's over here on the left. There's some clothes in the wardrobe that might fit you, and I think there should be some milk or something in the fridge. Let me know if you have any problems. So, yeah, I had a chance to look into this a bit while you were out there doing your thing. And what I gathered was that these seals open up after certain events have happened. There seems to be sort of a continuing theme with these prophecies. It's like with the trumpets. I think we need to create some sort of figurative events that somehow conform with the events of the Bible. Like, look here. I think what we're looking for here is some sort of ruler, or a guy who's about to conquer something, a place. There's not a lot of people here who fit that description. And then there's also this bow hunting thing. We need to look for some evidence about that. Once we're 100% sure who our guy is, we make sure no one is looking for him after he's gone. So tomorrow morning, I think we should give everyone a visit. I still have to work, and we need to try and keep up appearances. You never know if those become useful visits for our cause. I wonder how we're going to make these four guys into the horsemen. You know, we need to be crafty on this one. Hmm.
Oh, hi. You're up. I was just about to wake you up. How'd you sleep? Any trips to the underworld? So, I've made some breakfast here. Hope you like scrambled eggs. I think you should eat and then change into something more appropriate. We should get going if we want to crack this. Come on, let's go. Follow me. Let me know if you have any problems. It's the Freeman's house. They're our closest neighbors. I think it's important we keep good rapport with them. They're the kind of people who like to gossip and love to snoop around other people's business. On top of that, they're terribly religious. It's better we visit them than have them constantly visit us. So just keep close attention of everything and learn as much as you can. Come on in, detective. I saw you guys coming from a mile away. I'm cooking at the moment, but it's good you brought the little one for a visit. I'm sure I'll get along with my boys just fine. You want anything? Coffee? Tea? Beer, maybe? No, ma'am, I'm good. Just wanted to say hi and bring the boy over for a quick visit. We have to be leaving soon anyway. Oh, that's too bad. Well, make yourself at home. I think Gary's at his office, working on something. 
Why don't you look around and I'll have a word with the missus. I figured I'd find you here. Look! It's the Death Kid! Ooh, watch out! He might just try to kill you! I'm not scared! If he tries anything, I can use my rifle! If he kills me, I'll kick his butt. You think he would die if you shot him with a pellet? I don't know. He might. He looks pretty fragile to me. You're full of crap. Kid. Well, hello. Who do we have here? I was just writing a letter here. Work thing, you know. How are you, son? You look... how can I say this? Hmm. Delicate? Yes. How are my boys treating you? If they get aggressive, just let me know. I'll take care of it. We're planning to add a pool to the house. I would love to see you swimming in it someday. Do you like swimming?
Probably the boys forgot it here. They should really learn to pick up after themselves. Good morning, Detective. How can I help you? Hello, Mrs. Green. As you can see, I have this small guy here who's eager to continue his studies. I know he's used to being homeschooled, but unfortunately that's not really an option anymore. I'm sure we can fit him in. It's not like the town's filled with kids. We'll be just fine, won't we, Lucius? Yeah, one more thing. He doesn't really speak much. Heh, <laughs> well we have enough noise as it is. Some silence would do us all good. Sure. Is it okay if he looks around a little bit? Of course. I'll be here all day. I was thinking if we could start next week. Get him a chance to relax, you know, familiarize himself with the new house and all. Yes, of course. We actually have a Halloween vacation this year. We thought the kids would enjoy some free time to get their costumes ready. Well, that fits perfectly then. Thanks, Amanda. I'll see you later. I think we should first determine your progress before choosing a path for you. Oh, hi there. Is there something I can help you with? There's no school today, you know.
Yeah, I guess that's what I was thinking too. This could be the place we're looking for. Let's go and check it out. Looks like the mayor's going for your dad's old job. Well, Charles's old job. Well, it says he's gonna be in Little Rock this evening. That's 30 miles away, and I hope we didn't miss him. Doesn't seem like there's anyone coming. Let's check out and see if the mayor's even here. When we go in there, I want you to keep an eye out for clues, all right? We're looking for a guy who fits the description of the first horseman. Now this guy has to be the closest thing we have to a king around here. But I'm not sure how we're supposed to handle this whole bow and arrow thing. Hello? Are we interrupting? Oh no, Dr. Green here was just leaving. Hello, Jack. Lucius. Yes. So, John, I'll be back later in the evening. Shall we say six o'clock? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. See you then. Come on in, Jack. It's nice to see you again. Well, well. To what do I owe the pleasure of this visit? Well, I was still going through the case of Charles Wagner. Maybe bringing the kid here and talking about the case isn't such a good idea, Detective. Yeah, how inconsiderate of me. How are you? Everything okay? I'm good. I'm just trying to get to the bottom of this. Yes, I know. We all do. Charles was a good friend of mine and will be sorely missed. I just can't wrap my With head around respect, him doing sir, anything like this. I think aiming for his jaw right after he died is something a friend would probably not do. Someone has to continue the work he was doing. It's important for all of us, and quite frankly, I think you are stepping out of line here, Detective. Maybe I am. I'm sorry if I've offended you. I'll be getting out of your way now, sir. Is it okay if I leave the kid here for a second? I have some errands to do, and I think you'd find the whole building quite interesting. You don't have to watch him or anything. He'll find his way back to my apartment on his own. You sure about that, detective? You can do that, right? Yeah, he's okay with it. Don't worry. Okay, fine. J just for a few minutes, then. Thank you, sir. Serves you right, cunt. Are you feeling all right, boy? What's the matter, son?